today, November 22nd, what we announced is that we will put in place the operation of the support beam, which will come and support the actual beam which is in distress. Unfortunately, we had to close two lanes today on the bridge, but as we are speaking right now and the two lanes are closed, the contractor is working day and night, two shifts, with a lot of workers in order to put in place the solution. So in order to maintain the bridge, uh, we have to put in place many solutions, and one of these solutions is uh, the fabrication of a support beam that we built in 2009, which will help us to intervene in the case that we have a situation on the bridge. The installation of the beam will be done, and during the installation, we need to close four lanes for a period of, of 48 hours. During this period, the beam will be installed and attached to, to the actual beam. After this beam is in place, we will reopen the traffic on three lanes. After that, we will come to phase two, which is to install a modular truss underneath the beam. And uh, this will be done for the spring 2014. And after that, the circulation will be uh, on the bridge as uh, it was uh, a month ago. The beam number seven is in distress actually right now, but the other six beams are in good condition. We are confident that the entire bridge in this span is working well because all uh, these beams are working together. To make sure that there's no more distress in the beam seven, we are making, we are still making the, the two inspection a day on the beam seven, but also on the next beam, which is beam six, to ensure the, the, the behavior of these uh, beams.